Selling put options is just like dividend stocks, but on steroids. This month I made over $400 off of a $1,600 investment and very minimal effort. So today I'm gonna be teaching you how to sell put options. Are you ready? Let's get into it. If you're new here, my name is Greg and I make videos about the stock market and options trading strategies. In today's video, we're gonna talk all about selling put options and I make tutorial videos on options trading pretty much every week. So if you wanna keep up to date, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every single time that I make a video. Getting into the topic of selling put options, first we're gonna talk about the strategy itself and how to actually sell a put. Then we're gonna talk about the expected returns that you should see from the strategy. And finally, to wrap this video up, I'm gonna give you the best stocks to sell put options on. Now that you know the structure of this video, let's get into it. Everyone here has probably already bought a put option. You expect the price of a stock to go down, but then it ends up going against you, ends up going up, and you lose all the value of that put option. Now, when you sell a put, you actually make money no matter which way the stock goes. It can go up, down, in circles, anywhere. Whenever you buy a put, you're paying someone premium in order to get that contract. The person that sold you that option actually gets to keep the premium no matter which way the stock goes. Meanwhile, you on the other hand only get to make money if the stock goes down in a certain amount of time. The seller on this put option is basically like a casino and they're letting you gamble your money away while they receive recurring weekly paychecks selling puts to their patrons. Now the casino might let you win once or twice, hell, you might even win a million dollars, but at the end of the year, who's profiting? You or the casino? Selling put options is probably one of the most consistently profitable options trading strategies, but it does come with a little bit of risk. You see, whenever you sell a put option, you're agreeing to buy 100 shares of the stock if it closes in the money. In other words, if the underlying share price is below your strike price at the time of expiration, then you have to buy 100 shares at your strike price. For example, if you sell a put option on stock XYZ for a $100 strike price and at expiration it closes at $99, you're still gonna have to buy 100 shares at $100, even though it's trading at 99. And you might be thinking, wow, this strategy is super expensive. And yes, it is. In order to sell a put option, you actually have to have the collateral in order to buy the 100 shares at your strike price. So if we use the example from earlier with the $100 stock XYZ, then you're gonna have to put $10,000 down as collateral. Now you can go with cheaper stocks in order to bring the amount of collateral you have to put down, but you should only sell puts on a stock that you're actually comfortable holding 100 shares of, because ultimately you could be filled for this order. So now that you know the fundamentals on how selling a put option works, let's get into an actual example and show you how simple this is. Since I'm comfortable holding 100 shares of Workhorse, I'm gonna sell a put option on their stock. So we're gonna go with an expiration date of this week on September 4th. I can pick whatever strike price I want on their stock. If we go with the $16 put, we're gonna be paid $90 in premium. And if we go with the $17 put, we'll be paid $148 in premium. I'm gonna go with a happy medium of the 1650 put because it offers a pretty good premium and the chances of workhorse actually falling to 1650 at this point is probably pretty low. Whenever I sell one of these puts, I'm gonna be paid $115 in premium to put on this trade. In order to put this on, I'm gonna have to have $1,650 of collateral. The $115 of premium that I'm gonna be getting is gonna be paid to me upfront. So that means I can do whatever I want with that $115. Personally, whenever I get premium, I like to use this money on buying shares of the company because essentially they're free shares. You can use it for rent, beer money, whatever you want, just be smart with it. Whenever I swipe up to submit this contract, I'm agreeing to buy 100 shares of Workhorse at $16.50 a share on or before September 4th. So if Workhorse comes below $16.50, the buyer of this contract can execute it at any point, and if it closes below $16.50 at the time of expiration, then I am obligated to buy 100 shares at $16.50. On the other hand, if this option expires worthless, or in other words, Workhorse closes above my $16.50 strike price, 
then I'm off the hook, I don't have to buy any shares, and I just get to keep my premium. After my expiration date of September 4th, I can then go and sell a put option for the next week, and then I can just rinse and repeat this, collecting premium every single week. So you can basically think of this like dividend stocks, but instead of getting paid every three months, every year, every month, depending on what stock you're buying, you actually get paid once a week. But unless you're super unrealistic with your strike prices, at some point, it's gonna fall in the money and you're gonna be filled for your order. At this point, you will have 100 shares of the company and then you can go about selling a cup of call. If you want me to make a video about selling call options, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. And if this video gets 100 likes, I'll make that video for you guys. We covered exactly how to sell a put option. We covered the fundamentals. Now let's talk about how much money you're gonna be making by using this options trading strategy. Now, as the famous saying goes, the rich get richer, and the more money that you have to sell put options, the more money that you're gonna make. I like to base this off of percentages. As a minimum, you should expect between one to 2% of the collateral you're putting down every single week. If you only have $1,000 to sell put options with, then you'll be making $10 a week or $40 a month, which isn't bad, but it's not great. If we step it up a notch and you're putting $10,000 down as collateral, you'll be making $100 a week or $400 a month, which is a little bit better. And finally, if you have 100,000 smackaroonies, you're gonna be making $1,000 a week or $4,000 a month. Since I am trading a more volatile stock with Workhorse, I get paid a little bit more in premium. I expect around 6% every single week. Since I'm putting down $1,600 as collateral, I'm making $400 a month, which is able to pay off my car note and its insurance. Over the next year, if I continue to sell these workhorse options, I'm gonna be making $4,800, which is a 200% return on my initial investment. But that's only if workhorse continues to trade between $15 to $20. Obviously, if it falls, I'll be making less money in premium, but if it gains a ton, then I'm gonna be making even more than I'm making now. And this leads me into how you should pick stocks to sell put options on. Whenever you're selling put options, you want to pick a stock that has a stable price. Workhorse is a terrible example. You can either pick a stock that trades relatively flat like AT&T or Coca-Cola, or you could end up choosing a growth stock. That way every week you're getting paid a little bit more premium. Now the premium on an option is heavily based on the share price of a stock. So if you got Jeff Bezos type of money and you're able to sell puts on Amazon, you should expect about $6,000 a week. I'm assuming you guys probably don't have $340,000 to put down on a single option, but honestly, there are some solid growth stocks for under $100. The most popular stock for the strategy would probably be AMD. If you're willing to buy 100 shares on a microchip company that has a cult-like following, you can expect about $200 a week selling premium on AMD. If you sell four put options on AMD every week, that's enough to probably cover about half of your rent. $8,500 might be a lot to you guys, and I understand that. Back in March, I had a $3,000 account, and if I were to go back in time, I would probably sell put options on stable stocks like Bank of America or Wells Fargo. Both of these stocks are under $30, so you can sell premium with only $3,000 in collateral. If you're not interested in buying 100 shares of a bank stock, honestly, I don't blame you. Bank stocks are pretty boring, so if you're looking for something a little bit more interesting, I would probably go about selling put options on Snapchat, which is around $20. Obviously, the choice is completely up to you guys, and you should only sell put options on a stock that you're actually comfortable holding 100 shares of. At some point, you're probably going to be filled for one of these orders, so you might as well choose a company that you actually enjoy and that you think is actually going to be going up. The only reason why I sell workhorse options is because I'm comfortable holding 100 shares of the company. I think that it's gonna to continue to grow, especially with a USPS contract. If you wanna keep up with what investments, what trades I'm making on a day-to-day -day basis, I post literally every single trade that I make over on my Discord. It's gonna be the first link down in the description. So with all that said, guys, remember to stay positive, stay green. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.